Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of my Hardcore Iron Man. On this account, I'm trying to complete all of the combat achievements without dying. Is that likely? Hell no, probably not, but we're going to try to complete as many of them as possible before we die. And to make it a little more interesting, for every achievement I do complete, I'm also going to be donating $10 to charity, uh, which means at this point we have to donate nearly $500, not bad. So yeah, just a few minutes ago I finished up the 10 million push-ups I promised last episode. So as always, don't forget to like the video and uh, I'll keep doing them. Anyway, let's get started. So in the last episode, uh, we figured out we're actually strong enough to kill Seracnus. Now, one problem though, we have a very bad weapon, the Dragon Hasta. I mean, it's okay, it's the best crush weapon I have, but it's not ideal. So I thought maybe it's time to try to actually get a Spider Task, um, which would allow me to take advantage of my Black Mask. Unfortunately, only one Slayer Master assigns it. That would be Turiel. So I thought maybe we should try to do a bit of point boosting. Or we'll just get it on the very first try and not boost any points. Well, there we go. There's 18 spiders. I'm not really sure how many Seracnus kills that will be. Seracnus has minions, but well, let's go ahead and do them. So it turns out, well, about four kills, which is not a lot, but the kill is so much smoother. I'm probably going to keep doing this. So I've been working on farming a lot recently, really just trying to plant anything and everything I can get my hands on. And there's a reason for that. Hespori. We just hit 60 farming, which means we're only a few levels away from being able to plant our Hespori seeds, which is a combat diary, and one I'm really looking forward to doing. And there it is, our first 80 skill on the account, 80 strength, just from the Ammonite Crabs over here, and now I guess we'll just do it again with attack. Now, just this morning, I hit 62 farming. Now, for those who don't know, you can actually boost uh, with a Garden Pie, to get into some of the other parts of the farming guild. So essentially, even though I'm not quite high enough level to plant a Hispori seed, I can boost to go over to the other side and boost to plant the seed, and we can essentially just do Hispori now. Uh, so right now, Guildmaster Jane's not letting me through. That said, I just eat this sneaky little pie here and just walk right through. So there are quite a few combat achievements for Hispori, uh, but I'm really excited to get started with Hispori because there are a few kill count tasks and that will take a while. Every seed takes a couple days to grow. So we have to kill Hispori 10 times, that is going to take at least a couple weeks I think. I think at least we'll be able to complete the hard task for now. The other ones, maybe not quite yet. Well, apparently I have no idea how long Hispori actually takes to grow. I thought it was two or three days. Apparently it's more like a day or day and a half, I don't know. Anyway. So we're going into our first Hespori fight here, Dragon Scimitar, DDS for a spec, and some darts just to kill the plants. Hopefully that will be enough. Hespori is not too strong, right? Okay, although I forgot an anti-poison, it wasn't actually too bad in the end. There is our very first Hispori kill, and because for the last attack I smashed Hispori with a DDS spec, we completed a combat diary, another hard diary completion. Uh, so I'm continuing on with Turiel point boosting. Essentially, the way it works, just for those who don't know, I'm going to do 9 tasks at Turiel, which are all going to be extremely quick, easy, short tasks to do. For every 10th task, I'm going to do it at Konar or Neve at the very least. So now that we're up to 240 Slayer points, I think we can finally do another block slot. And uh, we're going to use that on Iron Dragons because there's just no way I can realistically kill them in a timely fashion anyway. So we're going to block those because we're going to be getting a lot more points here soon. And I'd rather just not get that task ever again. So the Konar task for this set of tasks was Worms and we got 300k in loot drops. That's actually crazy. That's so good. Uh, but also notably, this is our 50th task in a row, which means we just gained an additional point boost of 270, which is greatly needed. Uh, I also ended up with three brimstone keys. We'll open those up right now. Now, because I'm already up to 400 Slayer points, I think we can go ahead and unlock a upgrade, and I think the best one, no matter what account you're playing is going to be bigger and badder. This will allow superiors to spawn, which will increase my experience rate, as well as give me a chance at an imbued heart. I think overall just the best upgrade to get done first. 
So I've essentially done around 50 tutorial tasks and so far just the one spider task on the very first try, kind of odd. I think I'm probably going to do this at least until 100 tasks in a row and then maybe I'll move on to something else. So there's our second Hispori kill, went fairly smooth as well. Another 12.6k experience, gotta love it. Alright, so I had an idea the other day. Uh, right now, although I have access to fairy rings, it's kind of annoying to get to one. I should have gotten the Arduin Cloak right as I started the account, and I still will eventually get it. But for now, what I'm going to do instead is make necklaces of passage. These are pretty easy for me to get and offer a very close teleport to a fairy ring. So essentially we just mine some gems until we got enough jade, turn those into jade amulets, and we'll just go ahead and enchant those into necklaces of passage. Not bad, we already have around 10 of them. That's 50 teleports, which would be more than enough for me to finish up my slayer grind and really anything else I might want. There is task number 70 completed. All right, so we're back up to around 450 Slayer points, and we got a task of Aberrant Spectres. Now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and unlock the Slayer Helm. Normally, this isn't a very high priority item for me, but on an Iron Man, I think it's a lot more useful to get done early, mainly because Aberrant Spectres are a lot more efficient with the Slayer Helm. Uh, so because I got a task now, let's just go ahead and unlock it, I guess. So there is 65 Slayer. Uh, for now, we're not going to be unlocking any new combat diaries for a while, but once we get into the 70s, they start picking back up again with stuff like Gargoyles, Karas, and of course, a ton of other Slayer creatures. Oh my god, I figured it out. Okay, so for Hispori, there's a what I thought was a really easy task. It essentially just requires you to kill these plants within 5 seconds of them spawning. Uh, not hard with darts, apparently, but it is hard if you have them on accurate instead of rapid. So <laughs> we switched those back and there we go, we immediately completed another combat achievement. So there is 90 tasks done in a row, still no spider task, kind of crazy, but we're getting loads of points at least. And finally, we are done with our 100 task streak goal. That will give us a solid point boost, and although the initial intention was to get more Seracnus kills, that just didn't manifest itself somehow, whatever. In the end though, I'm still pretty happy with all the Slayer points we ended up getting. We have a very comfortable 700 Slayer points nearly, which should be more than enough to do pretty much anything we need to do. So I ended up doing another 20 or so Seracnus kills. It's really slow and I'm taking quite a bit of damage. So I'm going to take a bit of a break from that to do a pretty significant Barrows grind. There are a few different reasons why Barrows would be good to do right now. One, just having access to some tankier armor would be great. Really, I'm looking for Kirill's top or bottom would be S tier for sure. We're also going to be saving up a ton of runes that we can use either to sell for money or we could trade in for an Onyx eventually. So I think I'm going to try to shoot to do 100 chests. Right now we're on kill count, I think around 50. So if we could get up to 150, that would give us hopefully a good selection of Barrow's items to work with. Of course, you never know what's going to happen, but I'm optimistic. Well, that took a minute, but uh, hey, a tank top. Toreg's uh, plate body is pretty good, actually. That uh, will be useful in quite a few places, and now I can rock a dad bod, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> So uh, after the Torix plate body, we're now on a bit of a dry streak. Around 30 chests, I think that was, yeah, chest number 100. We're halfway done our 100 and we only have one item so far. A double chest, but we got two uh, kind of useless items because we got a duplicate. And uh, well, okay, the Varox flail isn't necessarily useless. It's just useless right now, but uh, well, there we go. We broke our like 40 chest dry streak with a double chest. So uh, maybe our luck's turning around. Yes, an actually good item. The Arim's Robe Top, that will definitely have some uses. I could even use it at Barrows if I wanted to, but I'm too poor to upkeep all these uh, Barrows items at once, but we're gonna at least keep that in the bank. 
Is that no? Oh. Another rim staff? That uh, that one might be an alk. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is just the way it goes, isn't it? We went from like nearly 50 kills without anything to now getting like five items in 10 kills. Oh my god! I thought that was another Torx plate body, but it's different this time. Okay, we got Durox. Uh, pretty much the same for my purposes. I don't really think I'll be Durocking too much. On a hardcore Ironman, but eh, what's another item? What's with all these tank tops? So we really need a tank legs or something. I mean, three Torex plate bodies and a Duroc plate body now. Okay, so that is it for my 100 chest grind. We got lucky, I would say. I mean, I, I think we got an above average amount of items. That said, we didn't get particularly lucky on which items. I mean, we got like essentially four duplicates, but can't complain too much. Okay, so here's my current Barrows collection. Uh, four tank tops, so we have the Torig's helmet, and essentially four kind of not so useful weapons, and the Arim's top. I'm pretty happy with the Arim's top. And of course, we got a ton of runes along the way. Currently, we're at 15,000 Chaos runes, 4,000 Death runes, and 9,000 nearly Blood runes. So definitely worth it. That's definitely enough Barrows for now. That took me a long time. I mean, we're not doing that many chests per hour. Maybe like five per hour. So that was like 20 hours of barrows just there. We got some good items though. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today. Uh, we did only get around to doing two combat achievements, but that was mainly because we spent so much time at barrows. But but never fear, we are going to be doing quite a few in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Now, before I go here, guys, I want to give a giant thank you to all of my members over on YouTube. Thank you so much to Sejuani's Flail. The Hybrid, Ocelot, and Kush Patel for all being subscribed at the Dragon Tier. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much, as always. Also, another giant shout out to Mexos, Base Titch, MDM001, and YoYo Sub89 for being subscribed at the Renite Tier. Thanks a lot, guys. As always, if you guys are looking for another way to support the channel, becoming a YouTube member is an awesome way to do so. Get immortalized in all of my future videos, get a custom role in my Discord server, and get access to my video release schedule. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.